twelve of the deadliest snakes. They hiss, they slither, and unfortunately for humans and unsuspecting prey, they bite. Snakes bite about 5.4 million people every year, resulting in between 81,000 and 138,000 deaths, according to the World Health Organization. Venomous snakes kill their victims with toxic substances produced in a modified salivary gland that the animal then injects into prey using their fangs. Such venom has evolved over millions of years to cause severe reactions in the victim, from immobilization and hemorrhage to tissue death and inflammation. Here are snakes whose venom not only packs a punch for small prey, but that can take out humans. The Boomslang, Dysphalidus typus. Found throughout Africa but lives primarily in Swaziland, Botswana, Namibia, Mozambique and Zimbabwe, is one of the most venomous of the so-called rear-fanged snakes. Such snakes can fold their fangs back into their mouths when not in use. As in other deadly snakes, this one has hemotoxic venom that causes their victims to bleed out internally and externally. About 24 hours after being bitten on the thumb by a juvenile boomslang, also called a South African green tree snake, with an egg-shaped head, oversized eyes, and a bright green patterned body, the boomslang is quite the looker. When threatened, the snake will inflate its neck to twice its size and expose a brightly colored flap of skin between its scales. Death from a boomslang bite can be gruesome. Victims suffer extensive muscle and brain hemorrhaging, and on top of that, blood will start seeping out of every possible exit, including the gums and nostrils, and even the tiniest of cuts. Blood will also start passing through the body via the victim's stools, urine, saliva, and vomit until they die. Luckily, there is antivenom for the boomslang if a victim can get it in time. The Eastern Tiger Snake, Notechis scutatus. Native to the mountains and grasslands of southeast Australia, the Eastern Tiger Snake is named for the yellow and black bands on its body, though not all populations sport that pattern, according to the Australian Museum. Its potent venom can cause poisoning in humans in just 15 minutes after a bite, and is responsible for at least one death a year on average, the University of Adelaide reported. This snake's venom contains potent neurotoxins and coagulants. While not as aggressive as some other venomous snakes, the eastern tiger snake can be dangerous when threatened. Its venom can cause paralysis, muscle damage, and blood clotting issues, leading to severe illness or death if not treated promptly. The Russell's Viper, Deboya Russelli. Around 58,000 deaths in India are attributed to snake bites every year, and the Russell's Viper is responsible for the majority of these mortalities. This species is considered one of the most deadly of the true vipers. In Sri Lanka, where this nocturnal viper likes to rest in arable fields, they cause high mortality among farmers during harvest time. The snake's venom can lead to an awful smorgasbord of symptoms, acute kidney failure, severe bleeding, and multi-organ damage. Some components of the venom related to coagulation can also lead to acute strokes, and in rare cases, symptoms similar to Sheehan syndrome in which the pituitary gland stops producing certain hormones. Victims typically die from renal failure. The sore-scaled viper, Echis carinatus. Found in Africa, the Middle East, Central Asia, and Sub-Saharan Africa, known for its irritable nature and hemotoxic venom. The saw-scaled viper is known for its irritable and aggressive behavior when disturbed. The saw-scaled viper has hemotoxic venom that affects blood clotting, causing tissue damage and potentially leading to hemorrhage. Due to its small size and common presence in human habitats, it's responsible for numerous snakebite incidents in its range. Rather than the stereotypical hissing sound attributed to snakes, this viper starts sizzling by rubbing together special serrated scales when threatened. Once bitten by this viper, a person will have localized swelling and pain in the area, followed by potential hemorrhage. Since the venom messes with a person's ability to clot blood, it can lead to internal bleeding and ultimately acute kidney failure. The banded crite, Bungarus fasciatus. Native to regions in Southeast Asia, including India, China, and Southeast Asian countries. The banded crite possesses potent neurotoxic venom. While this snake is generally shy and nocturnal, its venom can cause muscle paralysis and respiratory failure, often leading to death if medical intervention is delayed. 
Despite its striking appearance with black and white bands, it can be easily mistaken for non-venomous species due to its docile nature when not threatened. The banded krite, Bungarus fasciatus, is a slow mover during the day and is much more likely to bite after dark. The snake's venom can paralyze muscles and prevent the diaphragm from moving. This stops air from entering the lungs, effectively resulting in suffocation. The King Cobra, Arphiophagus hanna. The King Cobra is native to forests from India through Southeast Asia. It's found in various countries like India, China, the Philippines, and Indonesia. The King Cobra is the longest venomous snake in the world and is known for its formidable size, reaching lengths of up to 18 feet, 5.5 meters. While generally shy and reclusive, it can become aggressive when cornered or threatened, raising its body and spreading its iconic hood to intimidate predators or threats. The venom of the King Cobra is highly potent and primarily neurotoxic. It contains neurotoxins that attack the nervous system, leading to paralysis and respiratory failure if not treated promptly. A single bite from a King Cobra can inject a large quantity of venom, which can cause death within a relatively short period if appropriate medical intervention is not administered. The effects of King Cobra venom include blurred vision, dizziness, paralysis, and potentially fatal consequences due to respiratory failure. The snake's impressive eyesight allows it to spot a moving person from nearly 330 feet at 100 meters away. When threatened, a king cobra will use special ribs and muscles in its neck to flare out its hood or the skin around its head. These snakes can also lift their heads off the ground about a third of their body length. Its claim to fame is not so much the potency of its venom, but rather the amount injected into victims. Each bite delivers about 7 milliliters, about 0.2 for fluid ounces, of venom, and the snake tends to attack with three or four bites in quick succession. Even a single bite can kill a human in 15 minutes and an adult elephant in just a few hours. Prompt administration of antivenom is crucial in treating king cobra bites. The coastal taipan, Arxiurinus scutellatus, a highly venomous snake native to Australia, is a formidable reptile with a potent and deadly nature. Reaching lengths of up to 6.6 to 8.2 feet, 2 to 2.5 meters, and possessing slender bodies, these snakes are renowned for their swift and agile movements. They primarily inhabit regions across northern and eastern Australia, favoring forests, woodlands, and coastal areas. The coastal taipan is considered one of the most venomous land snakes globally, owing to its potent neurotoxic venom. One bite can deliver a large amount of venom, swiftly affecting the nervous system. Its venom consists of complex neurotoxins that interfere with nerve signals, causing paralysis and potentially fatal respiratory failure if not treated promptly. Symptoms of envenomation include dizziness, difficulty breathing, paralysis, and cardiac arrest. Despite their venomous nature, coastal taipans are typically elusive and shy, avoiding confrontation whenever possible. However, when threatened or cornered, they may strike swiftly and repeatedly, posing a considerable danger to humans due to their highly toxic venom. Immediate medical attention and administration of appropriate antivenom are crucial for anyone bitten by a coastal taipan to mitigate the life-threatening effects of its venom. You could be bitten multiple times before becoming aware of the coastal taipan thanks to its incredible speed. When threatened, this snake, which lives in the wet forests of temperate and tropical coastal regions, will lift its whole body off the ground as it jumps fangs first with extraordinary precision and injects venom into its enemy. Before 1956, when an effective antivenom was produced, this snake's bite was nearly always fatal, according to Australian Geographic. The black mamba, Dendroaspis polylepis, an iconic snake inhabiting sub-Saharan Africa, is a highly venomous species known for its formidable size and agility, typically ranging between 8.2 to 10 feet or 2.5 to 3 meters in length. Exceptional individuals may reach lengths of 14 feet or 4.3 meters. It's renowned for its slender, sleek physique and rapid movements, capable of reaching speeds of up to 12.5 miles per hour or 20 km h. This species thrives in various environments including savannas, woodlands, and rocky terrain. Despite its name, its coloration is typically olive to grey, not black.
the black mamba's venom is highly potent, containing powerful neurotoxins that swiftly attack the nervous system. Upon envenomation, symptoms escalate rapidly, including blurred vision, dizziness, difficulty in breathing, paralysis, and potentially fatal consequences due to respiratory failure. A single bite can deliver a significant amount of venom, necessitating immediate medical attention and administration of specific antivenom to counteract its effects. Despite its notorious reputation, the black mamba tends to avoid conflict and would rather escape threats. However, when provoked or cornered, it becomes highly defensive, striking repeatedly and posing a significant danger to humans due to the potency of its venom and the rapidity of its attacks. The black mamba, Dendroaspis polylepis. Found predominantly in eastern and southern Africa, the black mamba is one of the fastest and most venomous snakes in the world. Its venom is highly potent, containing neurotoxins that can swiftly paralyze the nervous system, leading to respiratory failure and death if not treated immediately. The black mamba is known for its aggressive nature when threatened, capable of delivering multiple strikes in rapid succession. The Inland Taipan, Arxiurinus microlepidotus. The Inland Taipan is the one of the most venomous snakes, just a teensy bit of its venom can kill prey or humans. They live tucked away in the clay crevices of Queensland and South Australia A floodplains, often within the pre-dug burrows of other animals. Living in more remote locations than the coastal Taipan, the Inland Taipan rarely comes into contact with humans. When the taipan does feel threatened, the snake coils its body into a tight S-shape before darting out in one quick bite or multiple bites. A main ingredient of this venom, which sets it apart from other species, is the hyaluronidase enzyme. This enzyme increases the absorption rate of the toxins throughout the victim's body. The Philippine Cobra, Nager philippinensis, found predominantly in the Philippines. It is known for potent neurotoxic venom causing respiratory failure. The Philippine cobra is highly venomous, primarily known for its potent neurotoxic venom. It possesses the ability to eject its venom accurately up to 3 meters, increasing the risk of a bite. It's considered dangerous due to its ability to cause rapid respiratory failure. The venom of the Philippine cobra primarily targets the nervous system, leading to paralysis and eventually respiratory failure. Other symptoms include drooping eyelids, difficulty in speaking, and eventually, complete paralysis if left untreated. Prompt medical intervention with antivenom is crucial in case of a bite. The common death adder, Acanthophis antarcticus. Indigenous to Australia, found mainly in forested and grassland areas, the common death adder is known for its potent neurotoxic venom and ambush hunting behavior. The common death adder is known for its potent neurotoxic venom. Despite its relatively sluggish appearance, it's an ambush predator that can strike rapidly when provoked or disturbed, making it dangerous to humans. The venom of the common death adder attacks the nervous system, causing paralysis and respiratory failure. Symptoms can escalate quickly after a bite, including paralysis of muscles, difficulty in breathing, and potentially fatal consequences if not treated promptly with antivenom. The puff adder, Bitis oritans, a venomous snake native to Africa, is a stocky and relatively large species, typically measuring around 2 to 3 feet or 60 to 90 centimeters in length. Its coloration varies, often displaying a distinctive pattern of dark zigzag bands across its body, allowing it to blend into its preferred habitats, which include grasslands, savannas, and rocky areas throughout sub-Saharan Africa. Despite its relatively moderate size, the puff adder is considered one of Africa's most dangerous snakes due to its potent cytotoxic venom. When provoked or disturbed, it may hiss loudly and strike suddenly, inflicting a bite that delivers a considerable amount of venom. Its venom contains cytotoxins that cause extensive tissue damage, leading to severe swelling, necrosis, and pain at the site of the bite. If left untreated, these effects can result in limb amputation or other serious complications. The puff adder's ambush hunting strategy and its ability to camouflage in its surroundings make it a significant threat to humans and animals alike. Immediate medical attention and the administration of appropriate antivenom are essential in managing the potentially life-threatening consequences of a puff adder bite.
indigenous to Africa, widely distributed across the continent. The puff adder is known for its potent cytotoxic venom causing tissue damage and swelling. The puff adder is considered one of Africa's most dangerous snakes due to its aggressive nature and common presence in populated areas. It possesses potent cytotoxic venom. The venom of the puff adder causes tissue damage and severe swelling at the site of the bite. It le Each of these snakes possesses venom that can be extremely hazardous to humans. It's important to note that while these snakes are considered deadly due to their venom, they typically avoid confrontation with humans and usually strike when they feel threatened or cornered. Seeking immediate medical attention and appropriate antivenom treatment is crucial in case of a bite from any of these species. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more informative videos like this. Watch more of our other similar videos about wildlife.